All right, so let's say I want to create my own personal website. So I'm going to go ahead and select a domain name. Let's say I call it Mr. Danza. Let's see if mrdanza.com is allowed. I'll click it, search, right? So it looks like mrdanza.weebly.com is unavailable. All right, well, let's see if I can do Mr. Danza. I'll say Mr. D Mr. Danza. Oh no. Computer science. All right, I'll, that's a really long website. Mr. Danza Computer Science dot com. <laughs> uh, let's test it out. Search. All right, it's there. So we don't want these, right? These included free with one year plan. No, you don't want that. We're going to go ahead here. Or to subdomain. This is the free version. The only catch is they're going to add dot weebly dot com at the end rather than having Mr. Danza computer science dot com, right? We're going to have all this, right? So um, I'll go ahead and click down here, choose, and they create this really long website name for you, Mr. Danza dot com, Mr. Danza computer science dot weebly dot com. All right, and I'll click done. Now let's reload this. And I selected the theme before, I just selected one of the first ones that showed up. Right, so the first thing that you're going to see is, right, you just see your theme and all these pictures and all these things. And there's a lot of like useless information here that um, I'm probably going to delete most of it, but um, it's just like a template. It's a place to start, right? You don't have to use this, and eventually I'll delete probably most of it. But the first thing, realize there's a bunch of buttons up here, tabs along the top. Right, you're gonna want to uh, be in the build tab to start off. And this is where we actually make our website. So you don't actually have to know how to code or anything like that. You just drag and drop things on. If you wanna like add a title, you just drag the title and put it where you want. Text, images, which are pictures. Uh, if I wanna see everything, right, click down this and all these different things. Right, we're not gonna talk about all of them, but I encourage you to play around with them. All right, so my site all right let's change it if i wanted to actually add a logo across the top i could but let's just say uh mr danza whoops mr danza's um and like see like there's a random button here right if i don't want that on there i can just like let's really click off so I can hover over top of it and I can just like delete it by clicking on it. So you delete, right? There you go, it disappeared. So there's this financial freedom, there's all these different colors and designs in the background. Let's say I don't want that. I click on edit background. I can replace it with something. All right, let's see what pictures I have in here. Um I've got one picture from our like our roster from our game the other day. I'll just add that in there. It's uploading, it might take a minute to upload. It's going to save your pictures in here. Uh, there's a lot of stock images, like images that already exist on the website. Uh, you can choose one of these if you just want to do that. But <laughs> all right, so as you see, um, it just posted this picture at the top. Um, and like I said, if you don't want that there, you could easily delete it or change it. So um, <laughs> there's me with hair, picture of me. Uh, <laughs> Um, so anyway, uh, as you go through, like using a web a website has, I want to do a save it, save, all right. All right, so using a website has different pages, right? If I click there, there's different pages that pop up. And the way you can edit each individual page, right? Like let's say I just want to leave the other stuff there. I click on pages up here in the top. Okay, it shows that I have four pages that exist already. And I could click on each page and see what each page looks like, right? I could decide if I wanted to have a header at the top, right? If I want to hide it in navigation. So like that, the navigation is like right here. So if I click this, see how it says home, services, team, contact. If I want to hide it so it doesn't show up there, I click like hide in navigation, right? So now if I click the navigation, services don't pop up anymore. It's like kind of hidden, right? But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click that back there. All right. And there you go. So you can go through and edit each page, right? If I click back, click 
con team, right? These are people, I could say these are people that work with me, right? I could add, that's my financial advisor, whatever. Let's say I just want this website to be about like computer science stuff, right? If I want to like make my own like teaching website, I could. There's also like a contact page. Most of these websites come from a contact page. And you can add a contact form. Check this out. I click on build over here. Now there's like a contact form. Contact forms are really useful, right? So if I like drag this in here, it's that easy. I just drag things in and there's my contact form. Let's say I click on the contact form. I can see who filled out a contact form. Form options, right? Um, I can what I want the form to be called, right? Confirmation, a message that's gonna be received. Thank you for submitting your information, right? You can change that up if you want to. You can add uh, different things to it. Buttons. That's entirely up to you. Like I said. Right, and so someone could actually go to this website and fill out a contact form. Click save. Like I said, if you can literally just drag and drop whatever you want. Let's say I wanted to add a picture, I can just drag the image out. Where do I want it? Let's say I want it right there. And then if I want to go ahead and just click on upload image, click on it, and I don't know. Let's say I want to put this soccer team right here. These were some guys that played in the soccer game the other day. I couldn't go to the game because I had, uh, my son was born, but I don't know why I wasn't going to add these guys in here. It's the first picture that came up. So if you want to add pictures in here, you can. Uh, some of the other elements, show elements. You got contact forms, newsletter, surveys, RSVP forms, YouTube videos. You want to add YouTube videos in here? Check it out. Just drag and drop it in here. Just click. Say, what do you want? The, what YouTube? URL do you want and just paste that in there and the YouTube video will show up on my website. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so you really don't need much of other stuff. I could say main, your, your main focus might be even like spacing out. Let's say you don't want, let's say you have a map here and you also have a video here and you want to add spacing. You can drag the spacer over here, right? And add some space. Also, so I can drag this, add space in between each. If I want to add a divider, I can add a divider. So, like I said, no coding needed whatsoever. You literally just drag and drop things in here. All right, if you want to go back and change your theme, you click on theme. You can change the entire theme to something else if you want. All right, in different categories up here. If you want to go back, let's see, you want to change the fonts, right? The cool thing is if I just hover over each one, like site title, I'm just hovering over. Notice how it like shows up blue at the top of the screen. Navigation menu. Thing number I'd like let's say site title right I want to change the font let's say I just change it to like I don't know what this font is actor it's the first one if I want it to be that I can go back to what it was all right letter spacing right how far the letters are spaced in between so this is entirely up to you I encourage you to play around with it and just uh, see what you can do right you might end up like deleting pages that's fine. Let's say you're saying it's way too many pages. You can do that. You just do delete a page by clicking on it and then just say delete. If you want to copy a page, you can copy it. Uh, and then if you want to add a page, click up here where it says add. You can add a standard page. You can add a blog if you want. Right? Usually these are the two most popular ones. That's why they're at the top. So anyway, um, that's like a basic walkthrough of what you would see in Ruby when you first go in there. The way you really learn is just by doing. There's not a lot of like explaining to be done. A lot of this is, oh, well, let's see what a slideshow does. Well, I drag and drop it here. You get to choose a slideshow. That makes sense. All right. So hopefully that makes sense.